What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're back at it again with another My Damn Thoughts episode on AEW and Rival Collection Series number 8. Now, you're probably wondering, MDT, where the hell is the Orange Cassidy Chris Statlander review? And I'm the same way, Brad. I looked on my SD card. I actually filmed it at the same time I did the Best Friends review, and for some reason, it's gone. I don't know if I deleted it accidentally, maybe during the uh, during the Royal Rumble, trying to, you know, record my, my reactions to the show and, like, live reactions to the show with my family and stuff. I'm guessing that's what happens, but I sat down to edit it on Sunday afternoon and it wasn't there. None of the footage was there and it literally made me vomit. So, so I do apologize for that, but we are going to rank this set. We're going to get all my damn thoughts out on the table. I hate that we didn't get a review out of that because we will mention both of those figures in this review, so it'll be kind of like a review in itself, but you guys know how my damn thoughts works. We pretty much take an entire wave of WWE or AEW action figures and we break down everything. I tell you all the details of the set, my favorite part of the set, my least favorite. We rank the set. We do all the different things with the set. We break the set completely down from top to bottom, and that's what we're going to do here today, man. So, let's go ahead and start things off with my first thoughts when we got this wave announced. My first thoughts were, that's really cool. We're getting like a full faction in the wave, but my second thought was, this wave kind of sucks ass cheeks. Now, the only reason I'm saying that is just because I feel like this set's just kind of weak, man. It's just kind of a weak set. Nothing really is just over the top, just like perfection, and I think that's what really hurts it. You get a couple, you get three repeats and then three new characters nice balance there but not enough to get over the hump i i might add but that was my first my first thoughts and then after reviewing the full set i still am kind of right there at the weak point right like i thought it was weak to begin with i'm still kind of on that hill so that's that's unfortunate but let's get into who i think will be the shelf warmer of this set and it pains me to say this man but i think the shelf warmers in the set are going to be the best friends and i'm going to say that not only is it trent and chuck t it's also going to be chris Statlander over here. I think all three of those are going to shelf form the most. You guys know that women's figures already shelf form, and then you throw in, you know, a, a, a tag team. If you, if you need any proof, just look at SCU. Just look at, you know, uh, even Jurassic Express. Like, they, they didn't completely shelf form, but, because they, you know, they're a little bit toyetic there, but they were, they were found in multiples, and also, you know, Sheeta shelf warms, Frankie Kazarian and Scorpio Sky shelf form, Riho shelf warmed. Every women's figure that they do just about has shelf warmed, so I think that's easy to say here. The best friends will be the shelf warmers of the set. Now, if we get into what figure I think will be the hottest in the set, or which one will sell like hotcakes, or the one that will be gone from the pegs immediately, I think out of that, man, it's going to be Orange Cassidy, and it's going to be Chris Jericho. Now, everybody loves Orange Cassidy. I mean, just look at him. He's a freaking beautiful specimen. This is a great-looking figure. They're going to see this guy, and they're going to take him immediately. I would, you know, I, I'd do the same thing. I had three of the Series 3 mock. You know, he's just one of those hot figures. And Jericho, he's got the pain fake pain faker. He's got the pain maker face paint and you know he, he's Chris Jericho you know. He's the most popular guy in this wave and I think Chris Jericho uh, he, he's going to fly off shelves man. He's got the nice spike jacket. He's got the face paint. He looks good in the packaging. He is going to fly off shelves. That's the hottest figures in the set I think. If I had to narrow it down to one I would probably say Jericho is the lead but Orange Cassidy will also fly off shelves I think. I, I could see that happening and I wouldn't be shocked if Mox is also one of those shelf you know one of those hot figures but I think that Jericho is number one Cassidy B2 and then Mox would be the third. Now, getting into the chase variants of this set, we do have Jericho, who has a chase, and we do have Mox, who has a chase. And these guys are always the chases, right? Chris Jericho has the chase that's not even go as good as this. Like, his chase figure is actually a lot weaker than this figure right here. I think it's kind of terrible, honestly. It's probably the worst chase we've seen so far, probably. And then you have the Mox figure, who has his, like, New Japan gear that looks pretty damn sick. But Mox is also the chase. So you have those two different chase figures. Probably won't ever see them, but you know what? They're out there. If you can find them, that'd be cool. I still have yet to find a chase figure in the wild. It's one of my lifelong figure dreams. Still out here trying to live it. I have a really cool video idea for you guys that I'm thinking about doing. It's going to probably take a week to make. I don't know exactly when I plan on doing it, but I got to get the details ready for it, but it, it should be pretty sick if I can get everything squared away. Now, getting into the best head sculpt in the entire set, I'm going to go with Trent. I really like Trent's head. I, I've heard people say that this doesn't look anything like Trent, and I'm over here like, am I, am I tripping, man? Because to me, it looks like Trent man. I mean, like, could it have better details? Maybe, but I think the likeness is there. I like it. I like this head sculpt. I don't think, you know, Chucky doesn't look like himself. Cassidy's solid, but it's not my favorite. It's a repeat head sculpt. Statlander looks nothing like Statlander. Jericho's the same head sculpt we've seen, so I went with Trent. I think Trent looks good here. He's got his handsome look going. Got his beard, got his headband. I know his hair isn't accurate anymore, but when he did have the flow, I mean, this looks like Trent, so that's that's what I went with, man. I think that is, uh, I like this, I like this head sculpt a lot, so I went with him. Now, unfortunately, 
unfortunately for Trent, his tag team partner is walking away with the worst head sculpt, and that is going to be Chucky T over here. I mean, just look at this. No way, bro. I mean, it's got some leakage on it. The facial expression is just wacky and weird. Honestly, Mox could probably get this as well, because I've never liked that Series 5 head sculpt. And Statlander's not great either, but uh, at the end of the day, I went with the Chucky T. I just think it's uh, it's the worst head sculpt. It's just a weird expression at the end of the day. Not my favorite one to look at. I think it's my least favorite to look at, so I think that, that pretty much wraps up the worst head sculpt in the set, if you uh, if you ask me, Brad. Now, getting into articulation-wise, we're getting into the best articulation in the set. You may be shocked by this, but I went with Trent. I really like his articulation a lot. I think you're able to pose him around quite vividly. You get a nice ab crunch in here. You got your full shoulder rotation. You got your double jointed arms. You got your nice split C over here. Like, look at that split C. Upper thigh cut, double jointed. You got the boot rotation. Great ankle rocker. He is great. He is freaking fantastic. I like to pose this guy around a lot. I will say that his ankle joint does get a little bit weak there, but at the end of the day, I still like posing this guy around. I think he'll be a fun one for you guys. So, I would say that Trent feels the best in the hand, and he is the most poseable. I, I like him a lot, man. Really great figure here of Trent. I enjoy him. I hope he doesn't shelf for him. I think if you find him on shelves, go ahead and grab him, but he's one of my favorite figures in the set by far. Now, we get into the worst articulation. It's probably really easy to know, but it's gonna be Orange Cassidy. I mean, Chris Statlander is a women's figure, but at the end of the day, Orange Cassidy, man, I mean, he can't even kick forward, man. I mean, look at this. Like, you can't even really do his kicks, because even if you lift the leg, he can't stand on one leg, and they're very, like, you're very limited here, man. And he gets a really good ab crunch, but at the end of the day, his legs can't move. If your legs can't move, man, you, you're getting the worst articulation. I mean, you just are. I mean, what do you want out of me? That is pretty much the, the deal there. That's the business. Orange Cassidy's the worst articulation. It's, it's very simple, right? It's very simple. It's a very great technology, but at the end of the day, man, he just can't move like his, his counterparts here. He can't move like the rest of the set, and he's the one that I would least likely want to do a match with. So there's that. That takes away the cake. Diving into our best accessory of the set, we're coming back to Orange Cassidy, but not just Orange Cassidy. I also threw in Jericho. So like we know that the jacket shirt combo is the best accessory, right? It just is. It's cloth. It looks nice. It's a denim jacket. It's very, very wicked, right? It's a beautiful looking jacket piece, but Jericho's jacket's also sick. So like if you're trying to go rubber versus cloth, this is very detailed with its spikes and stuff. I'd still give it to Orange, but I wanted to give a little bit of an honorable mention to the Jericho spikes and jacket over here because it is sick with its paint and its spikes and stuff and everything going on. Uh, those are the only two accessories in the set that I like. Outside of that, it's pretty bare, but uh, I wanted to give credit where his credit's due with the Jericho, but Cassidy's jacket shirt combo is hands down the best. Now it's the time of the video where we get into the number of figures that everybody in this set has. Let's go ahead and start off. Chris Statlander, this is the first and only Chris Statlander. You, you can't get another one. This is it. There's no chases. There's no other figures in the set right now, so she is your one and only. Next up is Orange Cassidy. You have Orange Cassidy, and then you have Orange Cassidy from Series 3. You have the Series 3 and the Series 8. That is the only Orange Cassidy's that we have so far. I'm sure we'll get even more in the future, and we'll keep printing those. For Chuck T, this is it. This is the only Chuck T that we have. There's no other ones out there, no cherry, Chase variants or anything like that. And the same goes for our Trent figure over here. Same Trent, no other Trents out there, no Chases, no anything like that. It is our first and only unrivaled Trent. Now, we cannot say that about the last two in this set, which is going to be Moxley over here. For Moxley, you have the Series 2, the Series 2 Chase, the Series 5, the Series 5 Chase. You have the 2-pack Amazon exclusive with Darby Allen. You have the Series 8, which I'm holding. Then you have the Series 8 Chase. Then you have the Exploding Barbed Wire Deathmatch with Kenny Omega 2-pack from Ringside Collectibles. So those are all the Mox figures, and I'm sure that, you know, that, that'll be a, a deal that we get used to. He'll be in every other set. I mean, it's Mox. He's one of the stars. So they're going to keep pumping him out. And last but not least in the set, guys, we do have Jericho, who also has a shish ton of figures. You have the little bit of the bubbly ringside exclusive. You have the Series 1, the Series 1 Chase, the Series 1B, the Series 6, the Series 6 Chase, the Amazon exclusive Jericho, and you also have the Amazon Shop exclusive coming, and you have the Luminaries Jericho coming as well, but I don't know if you want to count those, but at the same time, you know, they're they're coming, so they're not quite out yet, but they're coming. So before we rank this set, I wanted to compare this set to Series 6 and Series 7 since they came before this set, and I think we're on a roll right now with AEW figures. I feel like since Series 5, man, these sets have been pretty mediocre at best. Series 6 was pretty trash. Series 7 was pretty damn trash and this set's pretty not good you know at the end of the day like this set i would say is better than series seven and probably better than series six nah, i don't 
don't know. Series 6 wasn't horrific. Like, Phoenix and Penta were solid. MJF was bad. Sheeta was boring. Jake Hager was pretty boring. But I think if that set's better than this set slightly, maybe? I don't know. They're pretty They're pretty damn even. E either way, none of the last three sets have knocked it out of the park, and that's kind of an issue for me. Now, out of 10, I gave this set a rating of 5.5 to 6. That's the highest that I could go. You know, it's just kind of one of those sets that's not one that I'm going to feel good about buying mock. You know, some of these sets I feel really good about buying mock. I'm like, hell yeah, get the full set mock. Looks sick. This is not one of those times. A lot of repeat characters. You know, I do like the Painmaker Jericho. I do like the Best Friends, but the Orange Cassidy's identical. The Mox is a, bo a more boring version of him. Chris Statlander's solid, but it's just not the most exciting set. So, therefore, I went with a 5.5 to a 6 rating for the full set. And now we have come to the to the culmination here, guys. We are going to rank the set from worst to best in my own personal opinion. If you guys don't know the criteria for the ranking, I'm going to explain it right now. Excitement level for the figure, posability, likeness, accessories, how much am I going to get use out of it, overall quality, feel, how it feels in the hand, all these different things come to mind when trying to rank this set. So take all of those things, put them in a pot, stir it up, and this is what I get when I do it for myself. So starting out with the bottom of the ranking, this might shock you, but I went with Mox, man. This figure right here, I love Mox. I think he's fantastic, and I love his figures, but this one right here, man, it is literally like a Dean Ambrose Elite with Mox written right here, and it's it, it still has his same issues, man. Really loose legs, uh, a repeat head sculpt, pretty plain Jane, just has like that rubber jacket accessory, and it just doesn't move the needle for me a lot. You know, I love Mox again, and I really wish his figures were tighter joints and stuff, but at the end of the day, this is probably the figure that I would least likely want to have if I had to buy the full wave. So that's where it comes. Coming in at number five, I went with Orange Cassidy. Now, that's probably pretty shocking to a lot of people because, you know, I think number three, uh, in series three, he was the number one figure, but that's because this technology, this is the same exact figure from series three with a different graphic on his shirt. It's the exact same. They didn't change up anything. When they change the, the crotch to a molded piece and have him fully articulated, that figure is going to make a splash for sure, especially if they make it just like this. It's going to be hard to compete with because this looks just like Orange Cassidy. It's an embodiment of him, but at the same time, it's literally the same figure without a different shirt, and uh, for those reasons, he comes in number five. Coming in at number four, I went with Chuck Taylor. The head sculpt did do it in for me. I wasn't a huge fan of the beer gut torso. It just looks kind of odd, but at the same time, you know, he's fun to pose around. Not the greatest of all time, but a, a fun figure, and I like Chuck T. I like his little workman shirt and everything. I just think that at the end of the day, there were better figures in the set, and his his legs are a bit weird to me, too. Look how, like, just solid, solid like, doughboy they look. I don't know. Coming in at number three, I went with Chris Statlander, a very fun figure indeed. I think I'm gonna have somebody repaint her face, because I just am, like, her whole head, probably, because I think the likeness is not there, but she poses around nice. I like the mold she's got going on. I like her knee brace. I like her boots. I like the colors and her tattoos and stuff. She feels strong in the hand and everything. Not the most articulated as far as up top, because it is a women's figure, but at the same time, I had fun with it, and she comes in at number three. She got a lot, a lot of appreciation in our review of her. Now we're down to the top two. You have Trent and Jericho, and at the end of the day, man, I went number two Jericho, number one Trent. I just love the Trent figure. He feels fantastic. I, I like to pose him around and stuff. I know he has the kind of jacked looking torso and everything like that, and if you switch out the torso, he has a giraffe neck, but I really enjoy the figure at the end of the day. I like the, the new stuff we got going. I love the sculpted boots. I like everything going on with him, so Trent was my number one, and Jericho with the pain maker is really sick. I like that they changed it up. I like the spike jacket. I like the pain maker look. No, it's kind of plain Jane. has got the inner circle shirt, but at the same time, you get a lot of cool stuff going on with it. So, our repeat is one Trent, two Jericho, three Statlander, four Chuck T, five Orange Cassidy, and lastly, we have Mox, which is kind of insanity, but he did come in at the bottom for me today. But that wraps up my damn thoughts on AEW and Rival Collection Series number eight, man. I'd love to know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. What's your favorite figure from the set? What's your least favorite from the set? Please rank them down in the comment section below. If you guys own these figures, definitely let me know your thoughts on them. Do you think the wave sucks? Do you like? Do you think the last three waves have sucked? That'd be a nice thing to know, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and do not cross the line. Like, I guess, this Orange Cassidy being the exact same as his last figure. I, I don't know. You cross